Now let's take a moment to talk about how to apply a fuselage cross-section file to your geometry in OpenVSP. We're going to use the fuselage cross-section here from before as our example, and we're going to move from a rounded rectangle to a fuse file type. Now note that our height and width are preserved whenever we click that, but it's applied an ellipse, so it doesn't really know what points you want it to have yet. We're going to read a file, and this is an example that I'll include with the example file distribution, but it's a very simple five-pointed cross-section file that goes from one zero on the right side down to zero negative one around clockwise until you get back to the original point. So this is a very simple five point cross section file. And when we apply this, look at what happened. It read what the height and width should be based on the points that were in the file. So from the right hand side, we have one, we have negative one, it's a width of two, it's a height of two. So this very simple file is being lofted here, 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 and here. Now, you can use a fuselage cross-section file if you want to, specifically if you know what points are there and you absolutely must hit those. Perhaps a better way to approach this is to use something that's a touch more versatile, like the edit curve function. So we'll give a demonstration on how to access edit curve and how to use it in great detail in other videos, but most of the guidance that you'll receive from the OpenVSP power users and developers is that if you really must use a fuselage cross-section file, you're welcome to as long as you format everything correctly and go in the right direction, but you're likely going to get more for your money by using the edit curve section type.